Hi, and welcome to my Random Ruminations. We're talking video games today. Actually, we're talking Skyrim. This is my, uh, well, legendary edition, which comes with all the DLCs and everything else. And, um, I have to admit I'm disappointed. I finally got around to finishing the main quest line of the vanilla game, and, um, I went Stormcloak. I enjoyed the Stormcloak story. I actually enjoyed most of the story in Skyrim anyway, in general, um, including the the werewolf one and the assassin one, the thieves one. They're they're not incredibly intricate, tightly woven stories, but they're fun. What isn't fun is the lack of challenge. And what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is this. The first time I fought a dragon, I died five times before I beat it. I just got roasted alive again and again and again. It was actually embarrassing. The reason for this was I was trying to take the dragon on with pure melee, but I didn't have any shouts. I had nothing to bring it down to my level, and the end result of that was that I was running around after it the whole time trying to get a hit in here and there. Fair enough, I'm dumb. Second time, the next time I went after it, I when I finally killed it, I finally hit, occurred to me, grab a bow, any bow, and uh, just shoot arrows at it until it fell out of the sky, and then attack it with a sword. So I beat it, and I have got such a rush out of beating it, because it was such a challenge. Then the second time I fought a dragon, it... It was still challenging. I will admit it was still challenging, but I didn't die at all. There was never really much danger of me dying. It was What was challenging about it was getting the position to take the shot on the dragon. Uh, of course, it was the, the attack by the dragon on the first town you go to. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, River something or other? Eh. Fine. Wow, it's a big blue bottle. Uh, the third time, the next, sorry, the next time that I fought a dragon, like, and it was, that really sticks out in my mind, I was on the back of a horse, and I ended up in this long-range duel with this dragon, from the back of a horse, using purely lightning, like, spark uh, magic. I, yeah, I'm kind of crazy, so... That was quite challenging, because you're trying to control the horse, you're trying to keep an eye on the dragon, you're trying to keep an eye on your mana, you're trying to pick your moment to take the shot, and hoping like hell the horse doesn't die underneath you, because you have no idea how much health points the horse has. But that was the last time that a dragon felt challenging. That was the last time the game felt challenging, period. Um, and the reason for that is, the difficulty curve doesn't really exist. There is a good difficulty curve up until about level 25 to 30. And then it just flatlines. The, the difficulty stays parallel to you. Now, I did ramp up the difficulty of the gameplay. I put it all the way up to the hardest setting and I was still finding it ridiculously easy. I mean, it could just be that uh, Elder Scrolls games, that the, not even the Elder Scrolls games, that Skyrim is a game that suits my playing style and the way I view games and the way I approach them. And that's why I didn't feel much in the way, in the way of a challenge. But I genuinely wished that I could throw apple cores at dragons so that, you know, in my mind, somewhere in the distant future, a young dragon asks his father, Daddy, why don't you go out and rend and kill peasants anymore? And he goes, because, son, I was a dragon until the day I took an apple core to the knee. Because that's actually what it felt like. It felt comical. Um, when I stop and think about it, I think the only other time I felt really challenged was when I fluked and I got attacked by two dragons at once. But leaving dragons aside, I mean... Actually, I can't, because they're actually the best example in this game. If you're going to be fighting a giant fire-breathing lizard, 
it should be hard. It should be really hard, no matter what level you are in the Elder Scrolls, no matter what level your character is, no matter what you use, it should be difficult. Whatever about the normal mods, the skeletons and what have you, yeah, I like that they're challenging at the start, but you know, the thing about it is, it feels good to be able to wade through a horde of them and come out the other side wounded, bleeding, but still alive and victorious. That's fucking awesome. But something like a dragon, or a really high level astronaut, or a Daedric Lord? No. There should be no question about you waltzing in there, hitting it a few times and it dropping over dead. That should not happen. It should be viciously difficult from beginning to end where those characters are concerned. You should die multiple times. I'm not saying turn it into Dark Souls, oh, which I still need to finish. Mm. But, you know, don't turn, I'm not saying you need to turn it into Dark Souls where normal mobs slaughter you randomly because you made one tiny mistake. But a bit more challenge would have been much very welcomed. Now, all that said, if you still haven't played Skyrim, and if you still haven't played Skyrim, what the fuck is wrong with you? You should play it. It is a genuinely fun game. The story is... As I said, it's not incredibly tightly written, but it's good. For a video game, it has an exceptional story. Um, it's not exactly movie quality, but it's, it's not bad. But if you're looking for a game that is really going to challenge you from beginning to end, this is not it. If you want an Elder Scrolls game that is challenging from beginning to end, go to Oblivion. Seriously. Oblivion had a complicated leveling system that meant you could make the smallest mistake in leveling and screw yourself at the end game, ending up with you having to come up with a new strategy or tactic on the fly to figure out a way to kill something that really you have no realistic chance of killing at this point. It's Oblivion for me was far more challenging than Skyrim. You know. Uh, so yeah, that's that. But one quick thing, speaking about dragons. A few weeks ago I did a video where I spoke about Anne McCaffrey's books and I was missing Dragon Song. The first part of the Dragon Singer of uh, the Harper Harper of Pern trilogy. Well, my friend Kiwi connected me. Uh, so after ten years, I finally have a copy of Dragon Song, and I'm freaking delighted because um, this book kind of means a lot to me. It was um, brought out the year I was born. It's 36 years old. It still holds up brilliantly, but in some ways, it always felt like it could have been written. She could have been writing it for me. It's all about holding on to who you really are and sacrificing to be who you really are and not being frightened, N not, not being frightened, being frightened but still being willing to go on and do it. If that doesn't sound like a metaphor for a trans girl, if this, you can turn this into book into a metaphor for LGBT people, for just for anyone whose life is a real struggle. And yeah, it's awesome. So thank you, Kiwi. Love you. Hope your necklace is still fixed. So, um, yeah, that's it. I will be back tomorrow with another vlog. Um, this evening I'm back with a Minecraft Let's Play. Of course, the big build is going on. And uh, our tank is actually coming close to completion. Not that you're going to see that for a little while. Um, so, have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow. Love you all. Bye.